Hello everyone, this is Noah. You can call me the plant man. Today I've got another video for you. Here's a little sneak peek into the grow tent. Something I wanted to show you guys. So I did a quick tidy up. Here's this year's harvest. Just uh, being stored in a box in a bag. Um, burp that once a day. I come over here. This is probably the most exciting, one of the most exciting videos I've got for you. So mind my shakiness. You see that little tip coming out? A little round tip? That's a root. And this is, an, uh, if you're a, a cactus buff, uh, and as Tachyum valdezi, or valdezii, which is also, here's one grown from seed. That one is, is grafted. So this one is seed grown, quite a lot smaller, very, very slow growing. Um, so when you graft, you can grow them a lot quicker. These guys are notorious for uh, not being able to be rooted. So what I did was I uh, used a bunch of rooting hormone. Uh, I used the gel, I used the powder. I let that dry really nice. And then, uh, so I put this over this weird little water thing and I'm assuming that the uh, ambient water that's kind of just being evaporated is gonna go up to the, the base where that callus is and it's gonna give a response to the cactus to push out uh, a root. I don't know for sure, I just assume. And I've done the same thing with this. I think it's starting to root as well. It's starting to get little, little cracks. You wanna be super careful. It's starting to get these little cracks in the powder and that's what happened before it split. And then the roots came out. So hopefully this one starts to root as well, but I'm gonna be able to transfer this one to soil and uh, give it a water. Probably when I water everything else, which is gonna be the 1st of November. Um, all my cactuses get watered on the 1st and then over the winter. I'm pretty sure I haven't done it. So all of these I've accumulated in a year. Um, and I wasn't really big into cactuses last year. So this is going to be my first winter overwintering all of these guys. I've got a lot of money in cactus already. I think I just kind of went all out. I probably should have, you know, erred on the side of caution. I only had one, uh, one peyote. Uh, now I have all of these and I've been taking care of that for uh, a year now. So I suppose I have, I've had one cactus. And then I've also had uh, the, this guy for a year and this guy. So yeah, I've had a couple cactus, but regardless, um, yeah, we're going to see how this winter goes. I'm pretty sure over the winter we dry it right out. If they're looking a little bit sad, I might give them a, a mid mid winter water. So maybe it'll go, you know, for six months of the year, give it water, uh, maybe seven to eight months. And then the four months of the cold winter, five, five months of the cold winter. We won't give it any water and let it dry out because the the house is really like the ambient uh, humidity is relatively high throughout the summer. And then it, in the winter, it drops to like next to nothing. So we're going to see how that goes. Hopefully these guys are going to be OK. But yeah, here's a variegated pineapple, some peace lilies, a pink lemon pushing out a flower. I think there's a few blooms on there. I gave this guy water yesterday, which is a Jordiana. Uh, basically, it's a type of peyote um, that's grafted onto a trichocereus. And then that the bottom part's rooting, and this is a fresh graft. So I just hope it, it takes and it does okay. You usually want it rooted before you graft, I think. I don't really know for certain still learning a lot of stuff this is variegated basil called perpetual pesto and it never goes to flower it just keeps growing uh, some pineapples 
Same with this one, they're sugar loaf. And then this is a regular pineapple. So I've got three uh, kinds of pineapple. A vanilla orchid. Figominal, which is a fig that once it starts fruiting, it fruits all year long, all the time. So I'm just gonna keep it uh, growing all the time. Giving it good fertilizer, giving it lots of love. We've got a staghorn fern hiding back there. And then this guy. That's gonna be given away soon. I keep saying that, but I am gonna go out there. Been been running into some rain, so I've been having to bump my schedule back just a bit. We got these guys. I'm not sure, but this one's pretty cool. It's got a little line growing right there, and it looks like it. Oh, it looks like it's forming another little line right there, which would be nice if it was Spiralis virilis, I think is what it's called. Coressiae or whatever. I'm not very good at pronouncing the Latin names, but yeah, this one's the one that starts with a K. Not sure that this one, not sure this one, not sure this one. Uh, this is uh, Chaos Pitosa. I'm not sure this. I suspect it's a fricky and it says it sustains some damage over shipping. Uh, it's like hard as a rock. So I think it's okay. It's just going to heal that out. Another Chaos Pitosa, variegated Chaos Pitosa. Southern Williamsy or Northern Williamsy, Northern Williamsy, like a true peyote. Diffusa, and then two fricky or frickii. Here's, um, these are Areocarpus retusus, and these are Areocarpus godzilla, I think. And then a penis cactus, and the Aztecums. That's Aztecium valdezi, Rettery, and Hentonii. And that's an uh, Valdez or uh, Rettery. Myro stigmas, Myro stigmas, sorry. Myro stigma. Astrophytum Myro stigma is the name on these guys. Guchenbergia principis. Brenningia hertlingiana, Oreo cereus, uh, Echino cereus grusonii, Trico cereus brizzi, with a Jordiana on top, Green on Green monstera, Deliciosa, two Thai constellations. The new leaf coming out. See how that's gonna unfurl. And then this is a, um, it's called a uh, Ficus triangularis variegata. And then a variegated Hindu rope hoya, variegated elephant bush, variegated bougainvillea, and a variegated Thanksgiving cactus. And over here, got this guy hiding, and that's just the variegated uh, Frugmansia. And I cut it right back, and it's starting to push out growth from these little tips. So I'm gonna choose which one or which ones I like, or just let it go. And it, it'll grow nice and happy and healthy. But I do that just to knock it down and uh, make it a little more manageable over the season. Yeah, so that's everything. So yeah, awesome. I can't believe that's actually happening. Wish me luck, guys. Thanks for watching.